I think doing two different things on one's channel, playing games or performing music. That's totally fine. There's a lot of streamers who are multi-talented and thus they will do different things. Like I know a lot of streamers who do gameplay streams and music streams. You do have to be a little bit strategic when it comes to gaming the system in those regards, because if you blew up for one thing, not everyone is going to want to go over and watch your other thing. And that's just how life works. Like, for instance, if you blew up off of music, I know a whole bunch of streamers who blew off of blew up off of music. However, the times that you stream maybe League of Legends, you won't get as many viewers because you did not blow up off of League, you blew up off of music. The ways that I game the system when I want to do quite different pieces of content given what I normally do is I will go and like start my stream with the thing that people cared about cared more about let me put it that way it's not like it's not like my community does not care about you know me playing League of Legends but let's be honest that's not what you followed me for but yeah so the way I game the system specifically when I was pushing for pushing for partner like I never actively push for partner I never actively verbalized that I wanted to get partner etc um i mentioned it maybe once or twice but i behind the scenes tried my best to game the numbers so it would be in my favor to hit partner so a couple of things that i did was at the time i had stream i was i swapped from league to valorant and i streamed a lot of just chatting specifically streaming advice because i blew up on tiktok off of streaming advice so what well, but i still wanted to stream my valorant or i still wanted to stream my league you know I think it was League at the time because Valorant, the numbers were just simply too low. So what I would do was I would start my streams with just chatting and do streaming advice and just chatting for the first two hours. And then for the last and then for the last two hours of my stream, I would go and do League. So I would farm up the lurkers, the numbers would be higher, but I kind of game the system in that way. So if you are somebody who is multi-talented, who does two things, whichever one that blew up off, that you blew up off of, if you're trying to, you know, get your numbers up higher for an achievement of some sort, etc., you know, totally get it. I would stream the thing that you blew up first during the first two hours or three hours or whatever of your stream. And the second half of your stream, I would do the other thing that you wanted. But it is true that if you do two drastically different types of content, one of them will perform better and one of them will perform not as great. And it just depends on whichever one you blew up off of first, but you can still make it work for you. And your core community, your core, fan, I wouldn't say fan base, but yeah, your core community who really loves you will be around no matter what you're doing. Like I know some streamers that I really like, I started watching them because they were music streamers, but they swapped to Valorant. I still really like Val, I'll just lurk, right? But as like a core fan of them or a core community member of theirs, if I saw them online, I would just be in their stream. Doesn't matter what they were doing, I would just be in their stream because I, I like them and I wanted to support them.